is an autoclave. And it's basically a giant pressure cooker. What it does is it gets really, really, really hot. And the way it's able to get things really, really, really hot is to get the pressure really, really, really high. This allows you to get really hot without actually having like liquids boil and evaporate and go poof. And so the way that it works is basically it uses steam. And so steam, like water vapor, you can hold more energy in that water vapor than you would have in just like dry air. And so you have this really, really, really hot steam that's gonna displace the air that's inside of like the inside of this chamber. And then it's gonna basically, that hot steam is gonna come into contact with things and transfer all that heat energy to those things and then kill anything living that was on those things. So it's not gonna wash your dishes for you, so you still gotta do that washing beforehand, but then you stick it in here and it's gonna sterilize it. And so it's really helpful if you need things sterile, maybe you're making media, so like bacteria food, and you don't want other bacteria to be growing in there before you put in the bacteria that you want to grow in there, in there, and so that's something. Also, if you just have like bottles that you're going to make buffers in and stuff and you don't want fungus growing in it, that's good. So lots of reasons to use a sterilizer, but it's not actually going to do that physical cleaning for you. So you got to do that cleaning beforehand and then you bring your stuff over to come in the autoclave. Now, when you put things in the autoclave, sometimes you're going to have liquids and sometimes you'll have solids. And the reason why it matters that you know what you, what, what, what you have is that there's actually different cycles that you can set on the autoclave for different things. And so if you have liquids, even if you most of the stuff is solid but you have some liquid, you're going to need to set it on the liquid cycle. What this does is basically when it gets really high pressure, in the liquid cycle it's going to slowly release that pressure. Whereas in the dry cycle, it, the, when you just have solids, it'll just go poof and then the pressure will oh not quite poof. But the reason why that matters is because liquids, they're going to boil if you basically let out the pressure really quickly, lower pressure, then what's going to happen is it's easier to vaporize. Remember the high pressure was what's keeping it from evaporating when you're trying to get it really hot. It allows you to get to those really, really hot temperatures without your liquids evaporating. But then if you just release that pressure, then everything's just going to boil and evaporate and all your liquids going to spill out over everything and it's not good. Speaking of liquids, when you have liquid, it's really important that you don't fill it more than about three quarters full. And whether you have liquids or solids, it's really important that you don't have the bottles tightly capped. What's gonna happen is there's a high pressure outside, a lower pressure inside, and then you're gonna get basically a vacuum seal form and it's gonna be really, 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 really hard to get the caps off. If the caps do get stuck on, you can try like heating things up and things, but you, you wanna avoid that. And so basically what I like to do is I just, turn it and then I do like a single like quarter turn keep it a little loose also if you have like containers often if we have Erlenmeyer flasks we're gonna stick a piece of foil over it or there's special kind of loose lids that you can put on speaking of putting stuff on lids so you can see there's some kind of like this stuff on here this is this autoclave tape the autoclave tape is temperature sensitive tape. It changes color to the temperature. And I know I say this all the time, but I really want there to be ones that have like jokes on it or something fun, but typically it's just lines or something boring, maybe even like a brand name that'll show up when it gets hot. Now, it, it, it shows up whether it, if it gets hot enough, but doesn't really tell you how long it was that hot. And so when you see an autoclave, it'll have like these cycle times. And so typically you'll have something like 15 minutes but it's actually gonna take you like an hour. And you're like, what the heck? But remember, it's gotta get that pressure. And then when you have a liquid, it's gotta depressurize slowly. So the liquid cycle is gonna take longer, but it's worth it so that your samples don't boil over. But the thing going back to the tape was the 15 minutes or whatever, that's when it's supposed to be at that hot temperature. Like it tells you, okay, it's gonna be at this really hot temperature, maybe 120 degrees Celsius or something for 15 minutes. The tape, as long as it gets there at all, it'll, it'll turn color. So just, just be forewarned. Also, some, it's good to put the tape in like the center of the thing that you're using so you make sure that, that the center of it got hot enough. This tape is really, really like dry and stuff and it's really, it gets really hard to remove from the roll. And it also gets really hard to remove from your bottles and stuff. So more important than ever, like when you have tape, anytime you have tape, you should tab it over. So like fold over the corner to make a tab. And it's really important with the autoclave because that's going to um, be really hard to remove. Also with the autoclave, you want to check and make sure that the lids aren't already like all gross and crumbly because the autoclave is going to like make them even worse. And so then you're going to have like 
flakes of plastic dropping in your bottles, which is not good. When you stick things in the autoclave, you're often going to be sticking them in some sort of autoclave tray. So make sure that whatever you put in the autoclave is autoclavable. Um, so sometimes some plastics aren't autoclave safe, and so be sure to look that up, or else your stuff is going to melt all over. When you have liquids and things, it's helpful to put them in one of these metal racks that has this one with the holes in it. This way, like any liquid um, that that forms, because basically when you're on the liquid cycle, it's going to things get kind of wet because of the. It doesn't do the same kind of like drying things out because it doesn't want to dry out your liquids and all that good stuff. And so you're going to have some liquid in there. And the easiest thing is like, so you want to be able to, you can just lift this up and then you'll have liquid in this tray that you can pour out. It's also really important that you are safe. And so this is going to get really, really hot. And so typically you have like autoclave gloves. And for some reason, it seems like we always have like a bunch of left-handed gloves. We typically have like bright orange ones. I don't know where the bright orange Elmo ones are, but I'll find them later. Um, but yeah, so it, it gets really hot and so be really careful about that. Be really careful like when you're putting things in, like protect your arms. So a lot of times the autoclave gloves are gonna be longer so that you don't burn your arms when you're taking things in and out. Um, be sure that it kind of like the pressure builds up right. You have like the door screwed in correctly. Remember to stick, to loosen the lid. So all the way on and then quarter turn so that things don't, um, boil over. You want to use the liquid cycle if you have liquids, even if you also have solids, but the liquid cycle is going to take longer and it's also going to keep your things kind of wet. So you might want to run separate loads depending on what you have in your time frame and who else needs the autoclave and all that good stuff. And yeah, so sometimes you have like an autoclave log and you're sharing it with different people. There's new, there's big autoclaves, little autoclaves, all sorts of autoclaves. Here's an old one, then we got this new one, which is a lot better. This is the one, I think I, this was the one I used when I was here as an undergrad, and now we have this nice one. But yeah, so hope that helps. And remember the basic principle is you get really, really hot with steam, and you're able to get really, really hot without things boiling over because of the high pressure. High pressure makes it harder to vaporize, it basically the vaporize you have the bubbles that kind of like trying to trying to escape but they can't escape that external pressure if that external pressure is really high and so by making the pressure so high you make it harder to vaporize your liquids stay liquid your things don't explode and all is good so but well i mean it's good for us but it's not good for the little buggers and those sorts of things so bacteria fungi all that good stuff that you're trying to kill it can't survive that and but hopefully your samples will. <laughs>